all the projects that they inherited, they have abandoned. And they themselves have started projects that they know they cannot complete. And yet, instead of finishing the abandoned projects and ongoing projects, they've started new projects, Agenda 111. Some of them are at foundation level. Some, they've raised the block work, but they know that they cannot finish it before they leave. So what they'll do is they'll just push it on to somebody else and say, oh, we started this, and you came and you've abandoned it. But look at the mess you've created. Where are we going to get money to finish all those projects? But I have pledged that we would restrain ourselves from starting new projects. Whatever little resources that we come and meet, we will send it into completing the ongoing and abandoned projects. And so, I was talking to our General Secretary, and I said we wanted our party executives and our organizers to start constituency by constituency identifying abandoned projects in your constituencies. Some of them are in the secondary schools, uh, abandoned dining hall blocks, abandoned dormitory blocks. Let's take an inventory of them so that when we come into office, we know the projects that we are dealing with. And as we um, uh, free up fiscal space, we will apply those monies to continue with those projects.